Did you know that you can easily and quickly take colors from any Hollywood movie to your clip for free without any plugins in Premiere Pro? Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'll show you how you can easily take colors from your favorite movie and insanely easy apply them to your clip and then just save it as a lot. My name is Dima from Studio Znak and let's start without further ado. So first we need to find frames from any movie. For that let's go to the website, it's called Film Grab. Here you can find frames from any of your favorite movies. There is a huge collection of different frames from uh, different films. Let's go to search and find the movie Dune. I'll pick the second part for this tutorial. And as you can see, there is a big library of different shots and frames from this movie. For example, we could pick uh, this black and white shot, but I'll choose another one. I'll set up this frame. Now simply take a screenshot of the frame. On the Mac, the screenshot will be saved directly to your desktop. You can pick several frames if you want to experiment. Now I want to take two frames from the movie Joker by Todd Phillips. I'll take these uh, two frames. Again, we take a screenshot of each frame. They are different from each other. The first has the green tones and the second is more bluish. I want to show you how we can easily steal the look and colors for your clip. And I'll also give myself a little challenge. Let's find the movie Asteroid City by Wes Anderson. And I think this movie has insanely beautiful colors and look. And it will be interesting to try using a frame from this movie to color grade our clip. Take a screenshot and let's move into Premiere Pro. We're already in Premiere Pro, let's just add our screenshot into the project. Add our clip to the timeline, but not to play the clip at the very beginning, just move it to the right. We'll put the screenshot at the very beginning. Let's start with the movie Joker and add this screenshot. Open Lumetri Color by going to Window and then Lumetri Color. Now you should see it's somewhere in your workspace, but for me it's on the right side. Go to Color Wheels and Match, click Comparison View and now we have two windows. The left one shows our reference from Joker movie and the right one shows our clip. As you can see right now our clip uh, looks flat and untreated. Click Apply Match <laughs> and boom! Now our clip looks much closer to the reference, but I think that's not at all. To achieve an even better result, we need to tweak a few settings. Go to basic correction, where we can fine adjust everything to make our clip match even better. I recommend adjusting all the sliders in basic correction. I'll move the temperature slightly warmer and I'll push the tint a little greener. Adjust the contrast, highlights, shadows and I think we can leave blacks. Then for some extra contrast, I'll tweak the curve and I create a simple S curve. Of course, every settings is unique to each clip. You'll need to adjust depending on your lighting, color balance, and so on. In the end, we have a very similar look to the Joker frame. Now let's do the same thing but with another reference. Simply replace the screenshot, I'll use the second frame from Joker movie. Select your clip again, go to Lumetri Color and then Color Wheels and Match. Turn on comparison view and hit apply match. <laughs> and yeah, our clip already looks super cool and very close to the reference. Let's just tweak a few things. I'll adjust the temperature to make it even colder, lower the contrast and shadows and slightly reduce the whites. And in just a few clicks, you are done. We've graded our clip and now it looks like a shot straight out of Joker and you know, it's absolutely crazy how you can easily make your footage look like a Hollywood level. Now I'll show you how I made the look from Dune movie for my clip. At the screenshot at the beginning, our reference is some monochromatic with dark and warm tones, so select your clip, go to effect and look for black and white effect and edit. Then go into Lumetri color and repeat the same steps. Turn on comparison view and click apply match. Now our clip is warmer, but let's tweak a few things. Go to basic correction, push the temperature even warmer, adjust the saturation, lower the contrast a bit. I think we are getting closer to a perfect result. 
but let's continue. Reduce the highlights to about minus 13 or minus 14, slightly lift the shadows, set the whites to around minus 13 and go into curves and tweak it for a better match. I'll create a S-curve. Our reference frame is also a bit noisy, so go to effects and look for noise effect and edit. I recommend turning off use color noise and set amount to 10. Now let's quickly render the clip and see what we got. I think it looks insanely cool. It's super close and now our cliff is like a scene straight out of Dune movie. And just with simple tweaks like this, you can get results like this. Now we have uh, three different looks. Let's move to the last one. As I said before, this will be a real challenge for me because Asteroid City has a, <laughs> some truly crazy colors and it's going to be hard to find the perfect match. But I think we can get a close. Select your clip, go into Lumetri Color and click Comparison View and hit Apply Match. The initial result isn't super close, but let's try tweaking a few things. I'll immediately boost our saturation, then I'll adjust some other settings, boost the exposure slightly, lower the highlights, shadows and whites, then go into creative and increase the vibrance. This will push our colors even further. Feel free to experiment with different settings because it might behave differently depending on your clip. But the good thing about Lumetri Color is that it pulls the core colors from the reference, giving you a strong base you can customize. Adjust the curve slightly and let's check the result. It's not a perfect result, but I think I got it pretty close to that Wes Anderson look. I'm not a professional colorist, I just played around with uh, some settings the way I felt. And we ended up with this cool style. Now let me show you how we can easily save this, uh, for example, Dune look as a LUT and quickly apply it in any project. Go to Lumetri Color, click on the three lines in the top right corner and choose export like Coop. Save it wherever you want and name it something like Dune LUT. Now whenever you want to quickly apply this LUT, just go to Lumetri Color, open Creative, click on Look, then Browse, select your saved LUT and boom! Then you can find just any settings you want. If you don't feel like doing all this yourself, I created a 4 free LUTs from this tutorial. Just follow the link below, download them and use them however you like. So experiment, grab any frame from your favorite movie, tweak a few settings and within 30 seconds you can get a similar Hollywood look. If you enjoy video like this, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. See you in the next one. Good luck.